Hi, my name is Deborah Henny. I'm a wife, author, mother, speaker. Today I want to release a prophetic word that was dated in my journal as September 29th and October 1st of 2022. I know by the time I release this in video form, it will be 2023, uh, but these things happen sometimes. So this is called restoration with emphasis on the rest. And the sense I originally had and the phrase I originally got was rest for the restoration, restoration in the rest. And I, as I prayed into that, I felt the Lord releasing more. And this is what I felt him saying. I have heard my people crying out for their families and for their land. I am answering rest. Do not strive. Do not try to force change, but allow me to do the work. Allow me to be seen and known as Father, as El Shaddai, and as Healer. Let my presence be seen and known through you, and let the concern for the restoration healing be mine. This move will be mighty. This move will be deep. And I will surely bring about true transformation into my image and vision. But I am calling my people to dig deeply into my depths and be. Rest for the restoration in your family and in your land. Just be. Just be in me. Just be who I've called you to be, who I've made you to be. This is your place of rest. In this place of rest, a rest deeper and more complete than you have ever known, you will find deeper levels of fulfillment and completion than you have ever known because I will restore the identity that the enemy has tried to steal. There is restoration in the rest. Allow me to restore to you your inheritance, a revelation of all I have for you, my children. As I release greater levels of revelation of the heritage that you have in my heart, I will cause your hearts to beat with mine, to break with mine. Let the tears flow. Weeping will break out for the breakthrough. Weeping is not weakness but as evidence of the release of a deep move from the depths of my heart that will release healing, compassion, and love in the land. Let your hearts be touched deeply, seen deeply, and known deeply, so they will weep freely for freedom. Take up also a posture of praise. You have praised me in the celebratory times. I am calling you now to praise me even as you weep with me. Your posture of praise is a posture of rest and trust. Your flowing tears will cleanse, and through both of these, I will release my breakthrough. Do not laboriously strategize, but praise me even as you weep with me and follow me right into victory. So this was an interesting word. It came at a time when um, we were dealing with some stuff um, in family and just seeking the Lord for wisdom, seeking the Lord for freedom, and seeking the Lord for breakthrough. And it was very interesting, his, uh, his response, um, because I, I would get on my face before God, crying out before the Lord, and weeping before the Lord. And this weeping, it wasn't like me crying on behalf of something or an event or something that was going on. It was like a deep deep weep that came from the deepest parts, parts that I didn't even know existed. And, um, and it just really was an intercession. The tears were like tears of intercession and they were the prayers. It was very interesting. It was nothing that I had ever really experienced before. And as I was travailing and weeping and on my face before the Lord for stuff in my specific sphere, of life, God said, you know, you're on my face, you're, you're on your face, weeping before me uh, for this because it's in your life, but what about all the others? My heart breaks for them just as much. Um, and so it was a real challenge that God gave me to allow my heart to break for things and people not in my life, to enlarge the capacity of compassion and to really move forward, allowing my heart to break, 
with the things that break the heart of God. It reminds me of a song I actually wrote with uh, my best friend in junior high school or, or high school. And we stayed up all night writing songs together. Um, it's a night I'll never forget. And, um, and one of them was, uh, these are what breaks the heart of God. And the whole message of the song was, does my heart break when God's heart breaks? And it's like, this is what God is calling us into. A season of allowing our hearts to break so and weep freely and let those tears just flow with the power of God as he uh, as we weep with him allowing our heart to beat and to with his and to break with his um, and there are some promises in here that as we take this posture of weeping before the Lord he says to in that place of weeping and allowing your heart to break, praise me. It goes back to the first word I released uh, on YouTube, which was hold the line in praises of faith. He's saying, yes, your heart is breaking. And yes, it doesn't have the celebratory emotions. But there is a victory and a power released in the weeping and praise me in there. P praise me in that place because you trust me. Because... You are resting in me and in my power to do the work of healing, to do the work of freedom, to do that restorative work in hearts and in lives. Um, God is bringing about a great restoration. Restoration has been a key word uh, for in my spirit for a while here. And I love how if you look up the written version of the word, the word rest in restoration is all caps. Because that is what God was emphasizing, that he is bringing about a restoration in hearts, a restoration in lives, a restoration that is going to be a deep, deep healing work. Um, but it's not going to be because of anything that we strategized. It's not going to be because of anything that we planned or thought through with our logic. kind of reminds me of the story of Moses with Exodus, which I'm studying out and coming up uh because I'm getting, preparing to speak on the beginnings of the plagues of Egypt. And the word that God gave me for that uh, Sunday morning word that I'm getting ready to deliver is God breaking in to break us out of our mindsets to live in his breakthrough. Um, and so there's nothing that Moses could have done or strategized to bring heal to bring freedom to the people of Israel in their physical state of slavery and there's nothing he could have done to strategize and bring about a restorative healing work in their minds which um in the message that i'm bringing i'm talking i highlight that god didn't just want to bring freedom to the israelites in their physical state of captivity he wanted to bring freedom into their minds and that started with a revelation of who god is when we have a deeper revelation of who God is, we, that's the first breakout step of living in the breakthrough and living in God's healing and God's freedom. Uh, God talks about um, this move will be mighty and the move will be deep. It will surely bring about true transformation into my image and my vision. Again, if we don't have a revelation of who God is, if we don't know deep in the deepest parts of our being who God is where's our identity from where where is our inheritance sourced it's sourced in God and if we don't know who God is then how are we going to live in the inheritance how are we going to live in the promises how are we going to live in the blessings how are we going to live in freedom and in power it all starts with the revelation of God and who God is. So God is releasing a greater revelation of who he is, which is bringing about a restorative healing so we can bear his image. We can't bear his image if we don't know who he is. So as he releases this revelation, he's bringing us, he's marking us and bringing us into alignment with who he is so we can be that revelation, so we can live it out so other people can see it. So we can live it out at our jobs. We can live it out as we do our errands, as we are with our families, as we're in our churches and in our ministries. We can live it out in a powerful way, not just a didactic religious way, but source from the deepest parts of who we are. Um, and that's what God is calling us into. 
a true transformation into his image through that revelation knowledge of who he is. He's going to break in to break us out of our faulty mindsets and our the lies that we believe so we can live in breakthrough. We can't live in breakthrough if we're buying into lies. We only live in breakthrough when we realize and receive and live in the truth, in God's truth. Uh, again, he talks about not forcing this change, but allowing him to do the work. Sometimes that calls for patience. Moses and the Israelites, they had to be patient through that process. God didn't just do it. He didn't just do it because he wanted that deeper work done in their hearts and in their minds. He wanted them to live in true freedom, not just physically getting out of Egypt, but true freedom in their minds and in their hearts. Uh, so there was a process that went with that. So again, he's saying, don't force it. Let me do it. Let me do the work. I'm resting. I'm calling you to rest. Um, he's restoring the identity. Again, going back to that revelation of who God is. Um, and that's going to restore the, the, our identity um, in the Lord is when we have a deeper revelation and knowledge of who God is. That's where it starts. Um, so thinking, compassion. Don't laboriously strategize. Again, he's, go, he's tying this back into the family-based words that I had released about the releasing and restoring, restoring and reinstating the fathers and raising up the mothers. Um, he's calling us to allow God to be seen as father and as El Shaddai. And in those words, the raising up of the mothers was associated with the revelation of El Shaddai, as God is El Shaddai. And that those two together, the father and the mother, the father and the El Shaddai was going to bring healing. Um, so I'm excited to, to see that. I'm excited to see that um, happen. Uh, again, right after that, this word talks about the move will be mighty and the move will be deep. The word that God has been giving me for 2023 is movement. That there's a big, deep movement, a great movement coming. So I am very excited for 2023 for this revelation um, and release of revelation uh, that's going to break in, break us out so we can live in the breakthrough and in the movement that God is doing. Be blessed.